Hello guys, and welcome back to what's probably going to be the final episode of Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star. So the last video is probably really long because I was hoping it would end, but apparently not. It's longer than I thought every single freaking time. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping this video is decent length and just doesn't end within 10 minutes. So let's continue on. All right, let's go. Come on, Nageki. Through the door, the king was so eager to stop us from getting to. There is the lighthouse. The huge, bright lighthouse we saw from the plaza. But... Uh-oh. The... The bridge is broken? He must have destroyed it. He really doesn't want us to leave, does he? W what do we do? I don't think I can jump that. I can fly. Oh, of course, because you're a pigeon. I, compl co I completely forgot about that. I'll go. It is the lighthouse the king has tried to stop us from reaching at all costs. What could be waiting inside? I don't want to make Nageki go alone if I don't have to, but... What? What should we do? Cool! The king has multiplied! This is a case of the grossest asexual division. No one told us he was capable of this. Nageki, the king's coming after us. Go, quickly. I'll break some jawbones and be after you in a flash. Alone, but... Right. See you. Later, Miss Chu. This is... a false star. The souls of lost birds are drawn in by this magic lantern. This lighthouse and swallowed. They swell up and dream a happy dream. Huh. This lighthouse... It is a giant magic lantern. Everything Miss Chu and I saw as we walked around this world was a fake. An illusion projected by this lighthouse. Yes, a fake. But it was fun, wasn't it? Oh. The king waited here for the dark, tangled souls which the river of heaven deposited at the foot of it, at the foot of his jeweled throne. The king was there when they arrived, so it is no surprise to find him here, in the lighthouse he had tried so hard to prevent us from reaching. This king, were you drawn here by the light? Or are you the first king? I suppose it doesn't make a difference either way. You are one of the kings, and the kings are you. The king said, and you will become the king as well. Don't you want to? I'll pass, thanks. And not just me. Everyone who came here with me has already refused your offer. It was a little hard to deal with the big king throwing a tantrum back there. I'm glad I can talk with you now. Eep! Stay away from me! S sorry I didn't mean to scare you. You're trying to break the dream kingdom I built, aren't you? That's mean. 
I suppose so. Mean! But you've tried to keep us shut in. If you let us and the others you've captured out of here, we won't break anything. I don't want to. The king said if the king did that, he would be alone again. <laughs> you are already alone, your majesty. You were afraid of what the others might say to you, so you absorbed them into yourself. And now, you're the only one here. I was always alone too. I didn't know how to return to the sky. I think I should have gotten on the train like you, but I stayed on Earth. I spent a long time alone, burying myself in a fake world born of books. I had no one to talk to, just like you. It was quiet and peaceful. I had no friends, so no one hurt me. But one day I started making friends. There are a bunch of nutcases. I can never tell what they'll say or do next. They're all loud and active. Just being with them tires me out. But I like them. I'm happy now. The stars on the planet sphere glitter. I know what the king is afraid of. That won't do anything anymore. The planet sphere isn't any good now. Indeed, you took one of the stars after all. The star you feared the most isn't here. The star is gone. I already absorbed it. So, come on. Just stop threatening me. You can't do anything. Yes, I can. Eep. The stars on this board are here to burn through the king's lies. One of them is missing, but all I have to do is replace it. Bird's souls shine like stars. I should have at least one true gemstone with me. Which one should I use? Uh-oh. Okay. I'm trying to remember. Okay, the first one was the restaurant. Second one was the tea party. The last one was Mount Pudding. The topaz? Let's try the topaz. Hitori gave me this topaz. The other two I got from you. But be careful with that. Don't you realize what you're doing? Thank you, Hitori. I know, I know what happened. You burned to death, didn't you? Aren't you scared of that? Why are you making yourself go through it all again? Dear Lord, I beg of you, look into my heart and hear my prayer. No, stop. You'll burn everything I've made. In my, le in my next life, don't let me waste myself. Let me use my body for the true happiness of everyone in the world. The glittering crystal forest, the warm, friendly plaza, everything will disappear. And then the scorpion burst into flame, a crimson glow a brilliant crimson glow, and by the light of his burning body, he lit up the night forever. I am the scorpion now. I would burn a hundred times for my friend's happiness. I suppose the king's favorite book when he was alive was the same as mine. Antares, the heavens, the light of the scorpion's flame guiding those lost in the dark towards the dawn. And so the king's story comes to a close with the story he loved. There's nothing to fear. I've already burned like this once. 
The scorpion burns a bright crimson flame, and the dream ends. What will happen after I've burned again? I hope the others get out of here safely. You're coming too, Nageki! I'm sorry I'm late, Nageki. I got delayed while I was climbing up. Miss Chu, it's dangerous. Get, get back. Oh, come on. I fought beasts and climbed a lighthouse. Come on, take my hand, quickly. We're going home together. Ah! Ah! The king stopped? Watch out, kids. The building's coming down. Sure feels like the final scene now, huh? I don't know what exactly he did, but N Nageki certainly hasn't cut any corners. So, what should we do? I'd rather not get turned into a pancake underneath this castle after coming so far. The room with the chair was all that was here in the beginning. It won't collapse. We're safe here. Cool! Oko-san is falling! Oko-san is falling! Look, we're heading for the Milky Way. We'll be out soon. What of Chu and Fujishiro? Did they make it? They're probably fine. Unless his hunter-gatherer instincts, instincts will guide her through whatever it takes to get Nageki out of here. Merry Christmas! It's the great escape! Stop clinging to me, you two. It's uncomfortably warm. Which way is up? Which way is down? I feel so light. Hitori! Ah! Ah! Oh. Is that right? Ah! <laughs> I know, I know. But it's still too soon. That's right. I'll be along soon. I'll catch up with you. Someday. Let's get out of here, Totori. Nageki and Hitori untangled from the king's wreckage and I fall through the stars. We touch down in a field of silver grass. It is like nothing we saw inside the egg or in the beautiful dream kingdom. Alessa! Ryuta! I'm so glad you all made it out okay. Yeah. And we knew you'd get out just fine, Alessa. And you too, Nageki. You did really well. It must have been hard. I'm fine. Goo! Nageki is tough! He has the soul of a buff! Manly man! I don't... I don't want to think about where we'd be right now if you two hadn't broken through back there. I'm really quite grateful. Thank you, Nageki. Right. <laughs> you call yourself a hero of justice, but you can't even get by without relying on your juniors, can you? Well, that's a little harsh. I'd never seen anything like this before, either. Can't you cut me a little slack? <laughs> You're too sloppy. You never manage to do anything without slipping up. But... I suppose there's no harm in considering there might... In considering there to be some value in your efforts to come rescue us. Why, thank you. That alone makes it all worth it. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku will praise you too! Merry Christmas! GJ! GJ! Okay. <laughs> hey there! Looks like everybody's together again. Oh! Mr. Migrant! Aw, uh, come on. Do you have to look so angry, old friend? Your forehead's gonna end up permanently creased. 
Wait, you know the doctor? No, we are complete strangers. Ouch, that's cold. Anyway, let me introduce my new friends. Over here, guys. More of the pushy peasants? I've heard enough out of you lot. Don't worry. They're all going to be... They're all going back to being migrants like me. Ah, my shoulders are so stiff. That was a long nap. Man, I could eat a horse. Wow, what a dream. Wow. Hey, don't go stealing my lines. The birds the king had absorbed? Yeah, that's them. We're all going to be back to wandering the night sky. You too, of course. I don't want to. I'm scared. Where'd he come from? Mr. King, you're way too quiet. I didn't even realize you were here. I'm so tiny now. Just leave me alone. That's no good. If we left you on your own here, you'd just do the same thing again, wouldn't you? Besides, traveling the stars isn't that bad. You don't need to be scared. You're lying. You don't know where the train will go either, do you? Nope, that's what traveling's all about. <laughs> you made the king cry, mister. You meanie. Wait, you mean me? Since when am I the bad guy? It looks like you are now. L look, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it like that. Uh, when we return our names to the stars, we're leaving on a journey into the night. We make all sorts of memories while we're alive, right? Good ones and bad ones. All that baggage is too heavy. We can't carry it with us into our next lives. So we journey through the night sky, letting our memories go a little bit at a time. I don't want to. Forgetting is scary. But if you keep clinging to your memories, you can never be reborn. We're like stones washing down a river. You might start out as a big, jagged lump, but as you keep washing along, you get worn down until you're round and smooth. The sparks, as your corners chip off, are what make the stars shine. And you've journeyed through the night sky until you can't get any rounder. You turn into an egg and fall back to Earth. Back there again? Don't you want to be reborn, Mr. King? No! I don't want to go through all that again. Come on, it won't be that bad. Well, I guess it might be. You never know. <laughs> you made him cry again. The King's Station. The King's Station. Leaving on a journey. Heading home. This is the line for, e for you either way. This is the Earth Southern Cross Line. That's right. The train to Earth will be coming next. Don't get on the wrong one. It's the train. Come on, before it leaves. Come with us, Your Highness. Oh, would you like a caramel? <laughs> Beautiful scenery. Jolly companions. What a wonderful day. Come on. Let's go. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Come here for a second, old friend. Please don't act so familiar. Let me give you a present before I leave. As proof of our friendship. Hmm, give me a minute. 
What do I have? Sorry, I can never keep my things straight. Indeed. You're always picking up useless G-jaws, and you never put them in order. Uh... Ah! Here we go. I picked this up in Orion's belt. It's a fossil. Look at it. Isn't it cool? It's huge. Are you a child? Hey, geology is fun, too. You should try going on an ex excavation sometime. I bet you'd love it. I shall. Keep that in mind. And you. Me? Let me give you this amber. Isn't it pretty? Er... Yes, it is. But why are you giving it to me? I actually meant to give it to you a long, long time ago. Sorry, I've got to go. Take care of your mother, okay? I... That was his dad, by the way. All aboard the Southern Cross. We missing anybody? What about me? Oh. I completely forgot. We fought the king with all we had so we could go home, including Nageki, but... Maybe that's not where he needs to go. What do... What do you want to do, Nageki? I... I want to stay on Earth a little longer. There's still so much I want to see. Maybe this is greedy of me. Maybe I'm being selfish like the king. But... There, is, there are still important things that I need to remember. I can't release memories into the night if I don't have them. So I want time until either until I either remember everything or replace it with new memories. I don't know, kiddo. We never recommend haunting as a death style choice, you know. Too easy to go all black and bitter. You mean Nageki could turn into something like the king? I really don't think he would do that. If I start turning bad, I'll get on the same train as the king. Is Nageki al not allowed to stay with us, Mr. Conductor? Like I said, I can't recommend it. But you said you've lost your memories? If you don't have any ill will left over from your lifetime, you'll probably be okay. And mister, you burned up your free pass. You don't look like you have any other tickets, so you'll have to wait until they're reissued anyway. So, Nageki can... For now, he can go back to Earth. Alright. Yay! I'm so glad, Nageki. For better or for worse, I suppose. This is definitely for better. You wanted to go home yourself, after all. And if the conductor had tried to force you on, he would have gotten a taste of my right, straight, left, uppercut combo anyway. Hey now, I'm not looking for any trouble. What's a human girl doing at a bird station anyway? This is all getting kind of weird. Last call for the Southern Cross. The train's pulling out. The train climbs upwards into the starry sky. I hope the king and the others have a nice trip. Come on, everyone. Let's go home. We release our unhappy memories and are born again. I can't escape mine. I can only go on and make more. But... When I touched his wing, a 
And that's all for your sophomore year. Take care, everyone. So that's the end of the semester. I guess we have spring break now, but we have to plan ahead for exams, so it's not so exciting. Cool! Release! Ah! Glor glorious release! Until we meet again, loyal friends! <coughs> I wonder what kind of class I'll be in next year. I hope we're all together again. <laughs> that would promise to be another unpleasantly noisy year. I hope you all will have learned to behave yourselves by then. Cool! Oko-san is always behaving himself! You're the worst of the lot. Hey, Alessa. Are you doing anything over the weekend? The weekend? Aside from Sunday morning TV? No. Why do you ask? Um... I was wondering if we could meet up somewhere. Of course! Gosh, you don't have to be so formal, Ryuta. I guess not. I guess that's true. I'll send you an email, okay? See you. Merry Christmas! Shock! Have you two knocked another flask over? I keep telling you not to go running around the infirmary. Merry Christmas! Mira and Kaku didn't do anything! Huh? I'm sorry, my wings slipped. You're the last one I'd expected to break something, Doctor. I was thinking about things. In any case, I've lost my concentration now. I think I would do well to take a little air. I shall leave early. He seems to be recovering a lot more slowly than me. I wonder if he saw something particularly terrifying in the dream. Anyway, it's time to clean up. Could you two get me the broom? Merry Christmas! Last time, my grand plans were swept away by some unrelated, thoroughly ridiculous incident. But today, I settle the score. You shall have a front row seat for the second unveiling of my wonderful masterpiece now. Prepare yourself, Isa Suma. The artistic weapon I shall unveil today is... Your target isn't here. Not so young, kiddo. What? And hey, what kind of name is that? I am offended. Iwamine Shu went home. There's nothing for you to do here. Ugh, what rotten luck. This is too much. Where does he live? I'll break in through his window if I have to. And here, the commander, the snow demon sage falls. Overcome with anger, the discipline of the violet rose reaches out to the forbidden. Wait, Angel, didn't the disciple of the violet rose go across the border to train himself in the last chapter? Even if the snow demon sage loses, won't it take a while for him to find out? I see, yes, that is correct, Ad Adele Blau. This is a terrible contradiction. It stinks of the demon spores. These demon spores sure are scary, Angel. Come on, let's think about how the disciple of the Violet Rose should make his fall into darkness, okay? Very well, in, in accordance with the contract of old. You two are awfully noisy. Be quiet in the library. The day the night slept. After. Long li wait, live long with your own sins. Well, that was the end. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at that. Hey, look. It's bright. And we got... Oh, we have two ex... We have two extra things from that one. That's interesting. 
Well, that's all of it. Um, we have the gallery. I was kind of looking at it. This is what Tori looks like. Nishiki Koji Tori. He definitely looks very interesting. This is funny. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I'm missing some stuff. Ah. Oh boy. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, it seems like I am missing some things. I'm guessing this represents all the pills. Oh, It's probably from the king. <laughs> Uh, Sakuya. Yeah, the king's, um, story was definitely sad. There's always an explanation for things. And I noticed that there's a radio. I, I might do this. I don't, I'm like maybe a, a video per part. I'm sure it'll be interesting, but it's definitely not going to be on my priority list because I really want to finish up Corpse Party because that's almost over and I still have Jurassic Park to finish. But I might, I'll, I'll probably do the radio after I finish Corpse Party. That way I only have that and Jurassic Park to do. So that's the end of Hotful Boyfriend Holiday Star besides the radio. And coming back here, I am missing some pictures. So I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how to get them, but I am going to go back and see what happens when I place the other two gemstones in. Maybe I'll get the pictures from that. But seeing as how um, these uh, relate to pretty much like near the end of everything, I'm going to say I'll probably find it in that area. So you'll probably see a video for that. Even if it's like little quick thing, I'll do it. But yeah, that's been all. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this series of videos for Hot Full Boyfriend. And I guess I will see you guys in whatever I make next. Bye.